Okay guys, welcome along to Ireland's Atlantic Adventures today. It's a lovely day here in Limerick and we're going to show you today how to hook on your ski, how to do some safety checks and get to the uh, slipway as safe as possible. Okay, so typical example here, you have your trailer and you want to put it onto your Jeep. A lot of the, uh, the good, the extreme trailers come with these safety chains here. So first of all, lift up your ball, put on your safety chain and put your hitch on down there, okay? The more times you can check this, the better. So grab it up and down, make sure it's okay. That's the main thing that's holding your trailer onto your Jeep, your car, so that has to be right. Always make sure that you take up your jockey wheel as well. A lot of guys will be driving along the road, forget to take it up and uh, it'll bounce and eventually you won't have a wheel, okay? Another very important thing that we like to emphasize here is even though you have a ratchet strap on the back and you have this here if either of them fail you always want to have a safety rope okay so pass the safety rope through the uh, eye at the front of the ski okay around there up a couple of knots there and you're good to go okay we've seen locally two or three skis they go and uh it was lucky they went up in a ditch. If they go onto a road or you cause an accident, you're going to have a serious problem, all right? So always make sure that your, uh, your winch is tight. You have a rope there. If you have the two of them and you have a ratchet strap at the back, you're really cutting down on a problem, all right? We'll have a quick look at the back here and how to set up your ratchet strap. Okay, so again, we're at the back of the ski now. The most important feature for securing your ski onto your trailer is the back ratchet strap, okay? So you want to make sure you get a good one. We have a Sea-Do one here, okay, the main dealers. I'm giving them out at the moment. Um, make sure that the, the ratchet itself is strong. Some of the cheaper ones you can get, they'll do, but they'll fail here on the uh, on the connectors. When, the, uh, when they come under any force, they'll bend. Now you'll see these, like I mean, these have been up and down to Kilkee. They have a lot of salt over time. If they get stiff, just uh, put a bit of oil on them and uh, they're good to go, all right? So a lot of guys will put their strap on and they'll put it up over the ski from a safety point of view, that's fairly okay, but over time it'll mark. You get some scuff marks there, and if you've decals as well, it can, uh, it can damage them, okay? So keep a bit of tension on it there. Put it through the eye at the back. Keep the tension on, pull it nice and tight. Okay, then you're coming through this one here. Through, tension on nice and tight so it doesn't come off, okay? and then I'll pass you there and we're down onto here. If you have a ratchet strap that's, that's long and it's gonna come up and hit off your ski, fold this over, hook it onto here and bring it back around and that'll shorten it up so you won't damage your ski. With the ones that see you have designed here, they're short so they're good to go. When you wanna put the strap through your ratchet strap, set it up like that so you can see through it from the top, okay? You don't wanna have it open when you put it through, you wanna keep it closed. If somebody disagrees, they can disagree. That's the way they do it. But we've been doing it for years here and it always works. And the reason you do it like that is when you push it through, you can pull it through, you hook it on, you can tension it up. So when you tension it up like that, you already have tension on the whole system. So then you only have to give it a couple of winds. If you do it the other way, you can tension it up. So then you're overwinding it, the strap comes out, gets too tight for the strap and it won't work. Little safety feature, when you've it done like that, bring your strap, back down and through, through the eye of the trailer, okay, and then tie it up here like that, okay. So that means if your ratchet strap for any reason fails, your strap is still coming through the trailer up, okay, and you've got some bit of safety there, all right. There's probably loads of different ways to do that. We think that it's the best way here. You have a forward tension on it, you have a down tension on it, your ratchet strap isn't touching up your ski, which is going to cause damage. And again, it's not going over your gel coat or your stickers or anything like that. That's your ski set up, ready to go. Always give your wheels a bit of a wobble there. If you've movement forward or back, or if you can see them moving in there, it needs your bearings need attention. All right, so now we're good, good to go to the slip. We'll change over there and we'll show you how to take it up. So it's always good practice. Take a walk around the slip, know your environment. If it's your first time here, you want to make sure that you stay safe and keep your, your gear okay, all right? 
So we've got some safety signs here. Waters where Ireland have kindly put this up recently to try to help people out and let them know exactly what the bylaws are and uh, where to speed and where not to speed. It seems to be working out great. There was some issues due to ignorance in around Killaloo, but things seem to be an awful lot better now with everybody getting on well, you know, knowing the environment and, you know, getting good use out of the water. All right, most important thing when you're going out on your craft, always wear a personal safety device, a life jacket, all that kind of stuff. Anybody that's going on any craft at any time should always have it on. And your passengers, all right? Here we have the speed restriction. So when you're going up through Killaloo, you know that it's only five or six knots. Once you go past there, or when you go out here and go left, you can do what you want. It's the same in Kilkey, same in up and down the country. Show a bit of respect for people in around the areas, and after that, you can do what you want. All right. So when you're on a slipway, you want to take a walk along, check your depth, a lot of the slipways here, when they're built, they'll pour the concrete down. And back then, maybe 10, 15, 20 years ago, whenever they were done, the ground would have been at the same level. Over time, a lot of that will have been washed away. So as you walk out along the slip, you'll actually have a drop, a drop off. It can be quite dangerous if you're in the water and with your craft as well. When you back it in, here it's okay at the moment, but the edge, if you get your wheels off the edge, you won't get them back up. You'll have to into the water, lift it up with yourself and your mates, and it can be a bit of a mess. All right, so we have the ski here ready to go. We'll show you how to back it in. Okay, so we're at the slip, we're ready to launch. All right, we wanna take our straps off. Now, if you have a roller trailer, and it's a good roller trailer, if you take all the straps off and you start going down the slip, your ski can end up in the slip, not in the water, before you go, all right? So we can take off our back strap, we can take off our safety strap here, and we're ready to go, all right? I would always advise if you're going down any sort of a slip, even if it's flat, keep your ratchet on, okay? When you're in the water then, you can loosen it off and your, and your ski will go off safely, all right? So for the moment, take off your ratchet strap, your safety rope at the front, but leave your winch on, all right? Let's back it in. Keep an eye. These can be slippy, all right? A lot of them are, so take a walk down, nice and handy, hold on to something see how the uh, ground conditions are. All right? Hold on to your soul. Hold on to your soul. I don't have one. All right? So we're in the water at the moment. Now, when it's fresh water, you don't mind putting the Jeep in. If it's in the sea or salt water, you can always just extend up a rope, make up a rope that's about 20 feet long, something like that. You can see the videos online, all the guys getting stuck in the sand. You can drop it back and you're doing the very same system. Your jockey wheel will be down. Your letting your ski back into the water and you just have a rope here to, to hold it tight, all right? So, I'm gonna loosen off the winch, leave it back a small bit, keep the tension on, hold the ski under your winch here, all right? And it's ready to go. Keep the shorts dry, in, go and forward, okay? So, we're doing this as if you're on your own, if you've got the girlfriend, the wife, well the wife wouldn't come, or somebody here, they can hold on to the ski for you, okay? If you're on your own, get your anchor, or some bit of weight, leave it down, tie it off short, Even though there's nothing for the anchor to grab here on the slip, the weight will just hold it, all right? So we've the ski in the water, trailer here, ready to take it up, okay? And what we didn't show earlier on was we tested the ski earlier on. Before you leave home, key in, give her a quick start, make sure she runs on the pier, key in, quick start, make sure she's good to go. The last thing you wanna do is put your ski in without having made sure that she runs, all right? So that's the ski in the water, we're good to go. Okay, so as we're taking our um, trailer out of the water, okay, we're going to drive up along. You always want to put it in a responsible and safe area, all right? Don't just fire it anywhere. Please re be respectful of other people using the amenities as well, okay? So we're going to find a spot up here. We put the Jeep and the ski out of the way, and we'll see you soon. Okay, so guys, we've taken the ski in here. 
We just dropped the anchor there earlier on while we go up and get the Jeep and the trailer. All right, a uh, little tip there is when you come down, if you want to keep your ratchet strap out down along the back so it's ready to clip on, okay? So this is when you're on your own. If you've got your mates or your friend or whoever with you, this is a lot easier. You don't have to go through all this stuff, okay? So we'll just take off the anchor here, put it in the side. And you don't need a whole lot of water to do this. Once you can get the front of the ski up on the rollers, uh, with these extreme trailers, they're uh, quite easy to get the skis up on. Okay, so hook on the front, keep a bit of tension on, get the ski straightened up. Okay, and then move, maneuver up along the front here, and uh, you're good to go. So just keep a bit of tension on it, so the ski doesn't get stuck in any of the rollers. And again, if you're at a beach or salt water or the place where you can get the Jeep all the way in along the back, you can just uh, use a, a rope to extend. Okay. So like that, that's fairly good just to get it up out of the water. Then you want to put on your safety line on the front, your ratchet at the back. A lot of guys are revving these, taking them out of the water, revving them crazy up in the slip. There's no need for that. The water that's in the exhaust, if you're taking it home to wash it out, you're going to wash it out there. So all you're doing is pissing people off, annoying them up in the slip, revving them high. It's not good for the engine, it's not good for the impeller, and it's not good for your shaft, stuff like that, all right? So with a good day up here in Killaloo in the lake, respect everybody that's on the water, look after your stuff, have a good day, all right? See you soon. All right, okay, so as we're taking our... Don't show that. <laughs>